given a chance to study under the best in your industry, would you take it? And what if the only catch was that you only needed to ask and then they would agree? Well, in most cases, that's how mentorship works. You just need to identify someone who is really good at something and something that you are really passionate about. Ask them and if they are able and willing, then you can learn under them. That is mentorship and its definition is a relationship between two people where the individual with more experience or knowledge and connections is able to pass along what they have learned to a more junior individual within a certain field. The more senior individual is the mentor and the more junior individual is the mentee. Well, that's the, <laughs> the definition of mentorship. And obviously that is what we'll be talking about. There are three A's in mentorship. These ones are very necessary if, if the relationship is to coexist well and for both parties to be beneficial to each other. The first A is active listening. This listening is an acquired skill. Like they always say, we have two ears and one mouth. We should listen more and <clears throat> talk less. But this is not always the case, but you need to practice it more and more and then you will acquire. That's why they call it an acquired skill. It is not taught in schools, but it forms about 45% of a conversation. And when you are actively um, listening, it enables the mentor to get, to get the conversation. It enables them to like take the lead in the conversation. The other A is availability. It could it is either physical, it is both not either, but it is both physical and emotional. You will need to meet up with your mentor at some point and discuss your issues. And emotional availability is being confident in the mentor that you're choosing. Like you can't be um trusting someone that you do not like no okay, you can't uh trust the direction of your career in someone that you do not believe in so you have to have conf confidence in them the other a is analysis so you need to be honest they are not honest and not beat around the bush why should you seek a mentor so the purpose of having a mentor is to tap into the existing knowledge skills or and experience of or or experience sorry of senior or high performing employees and transfer these skills to newer or less experienced employees in order to advance their careers this is in an employment setting but you can also seek out a mentor who is not in your in your company someone that you just like you can seek out um, a career mentor yes a spiritual mentor a marriage mentor someone to mentor you through marriage and such or in business a business mentor or just a life coach this one you just you they are out there you just pay them and they're able to guide you there are stages to to mentorship this include preparation this is where you you analyze yourself and you decide that you need a mentor and you search for one one that you're interested in they are also very good in or knowledgeable in whatever you're searching then there's the negotiating whereby you go you you approach the prospective mentor you tell them that you would like them to be your mentor and they tell you whether it is possible or not or what they want in return and then you already have the pointers what you want from them what you expect to get from them the end result and how you are participating in that relationship to make it work there is the enabling growth that is where you meet you discuss your issues you do the assigned work or sometimes a mentor will give you some work to go and do or some research to go and engage in and then there is the closure whereby you sit down you go through everything and you decide whether or not it is working for you and the advantage is how you are going to gain uh, from a mentor they support growth uh, majorly a mentor is someone who is way ahead of you and this is how you're supposed to to have one 
they are supposed to be ahead of you in life or in your career or in whatever um aspect you are choosing one for they're supposed to be good at what they're doing so they are you're just following in their footsteps they are people basically people that you would want to follow in their footsteps so they are not interesting in interested in petty stuff so they are just there for your growth they are cheerleading you they are giving you pointers they have already done this thing and they have they have crushed it basically so they are giving you the pointers on how to do it where they went wrong or where they have learned from others that that's not the way to go about it they will tell you and so it is easier for you to get to the top they are a source of knowledge you pass <coughs> they are a solid um sounding board where you can you can pass your ideas you can bounce off ideas and whatever um, anything that you need to consult on they are there for you they help you to set goals because they make them measurable they make them more clear and you are able then they are also able to break it into small um, bits and you are able to achieve them and they are also there as um accountability partners and because you feel like you owe them then you're going to be very sincere and you're going to push yourself to limits that you did not know you would and you're going to achieve your goals they maintain accountability as i have told you before they are a great accountability partners they make connection they help you make connections as we have said these are people that are not on your league basically people that you admire and so they are well connected and sometimes you use their network they allow you to make to use their network they introduce you to the people they know or they invite you to conferences or meetups that have influential people or people that could be a great resource to you they are willing to listen these are people that are easy like you can talk to them about anything the hardships you're facing how you feel that it's not working or other hardships that you may feel that you have they are willing to listen they are trusted allies which is all the more the reason that you should choose people that you are tr- you you trust and you believe that they have the best interest for you at heart they offer constructive feedback when you go and you pour out your heart to them then they they do not beat around the bush this up so when you're choosing someone they should be in that position like they're not be being new they're not there to uh you they're not walking on eggshells egg basically they will tell you as it is they give you constructive feedback this is where you're going wrong and this is how you should rectify it and so it is helpful to you and beneficial and saves a lot of everybody's time they pre- provide guidelines on how to proceed then so they have relevant experience so these are not people that are just trying out or giving out just ideas out of nowhere but it is tried and tested and they know the the outcome of each and every every advice they're giving you and they are a free resource so basically they are there for you to use and tap into their knowledge so when you're choosing how do you choose you pick someone who was your values and the same definition of, of success as you you also need to choose someone who has uh, attained specific goals that you are aiming for and also someone who is able and willing to build new relationships a person who has differences that can challenge you so don't just uh, choose the same person you don't choose yourself because you already are uh, you already there so get someone who is different from you and that is how you would meet your potential meet, uh, mentor and you should also try to meet them physically because we don't always learn from uh the knowledge that is passed to our speech sometimes it is by actions so you look at someone how they act how they react like when you're in a hotel you see how someone is treating the waiters how they're eating how they converse how long they take to do something and just by watching them you learn also you don't need it doesn't necessarily have to be a person person a person it can also be through books like biographies and other such information thank you for listening and see you in the next one please subscribe